Hello and good morning class 4 welcome to the first class of computer so let's get started with the first chapter that is computer storage and memory devices kids already in class 3 we get to know what is a computer but still let's have a brief look a computer system is a highly organized system that processes data which is a representation of facts concepts or instruction kids whatever the data we feed to the computer as input computer take it as a raw data processes it and gives a meaningful information as an output so let's forward to the next topic that is what is a data in general kids anything we input in the computer is known as data it can also be defined as a representation of facts concepts or instruction in a formalized manner you can say that if we feed 1 plus 1 that 1 plus 1 is the raw data and instruction for the computer kids always remember a data can be in any form whether it is in the alphabet that is a to z whether it is in a digit that is 0 to 9 or whether it is in a special character special character means any sign or symbol like you are uh, see, able to see in your screen as plus minus multiply divide whatever the sign would be it is also called a special character okay now moving to the next topic that is what is information data which is processed by the computer is called information always remember in simple terms data which is processed by a computer is called information kids information is the organized or classified data which has some meaningful values just we already read 1 plus 1 is the raw data but after receiving the result that is 1 plus 1 equals to 2 2 is the output meaningful value that is what called information also kids information is the process data on which decisions and actions are based kids for the decision to be meaningful we must qualify the following characteristics of information that is timely and information should be timeful and available on that at the time when it is very required accuracy accuracy means and information should contain the right info, uh, documents or information completeness incomplete information is never be used for taking any decision okay kids kids now let's moving forward to the data versus information topic data raw figures and facts are known as data kids for example when a teacher collects the data of name of the students their roll number their class and sections their marks obtained in examination are called as data now information the meaningful or processed data is called information kids for example when that teacher obtain the final results in the final report card including the name of student roll number class section and final marks obtained in the examination that is information you can see in the picture also the data which is processed then it comes the information the process data is called information always remember i am repeating again the process data is called information now kids let's chalk out some points of difference between data and information you can now see your screen data is the input and information is the output data is the unprocessed facts and figures while information is a 
प्रोसेस्ड डेटा डेटा इज अ सिंगल यूनिट ऑन द अदर हैंड इंफॉर्मेशन इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ डेटा इंफॉर्मेशन इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ डेटा डेटा इज द रॉ मटेरियल वाइल द इंफॉर्मेशन इज द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट किड्स टूडे यू हैव टू नोट इट डाउन इन योर क्लास कॉपी दिस पॉइंट ऑफ डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन डेटा एंड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड लेट मी शो ओके किड्स वी ऑल नो दैट एवरी फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी हैज एन एसोसिएटेड यूनिट और मेजरमेंट यू नो वेन वी गो टू एनी ग्रॉसरी शॉप यू यूज टू वेट इट इन द टर्म्स ऑफ के जी वेन वी यूज टू गो एनी पेट्रोल पम्प वी यूज टू मेजर द पेट्रोल इन टर्म्स ऑफ लीटर लाइक वाइज इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेटा स्टोरेज द मेमोरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ बाइट किड्स रिमेंबर द अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा स्टोर्ड इन द कंप्यूटर इज नोन एज डेटा स्टोरेज I am repeating it again the amount of data stored in a computer is known as data storage kids a computer never understands a human language it only understands the machine language that is known as binary language the binary language is made up of binary digits or bits the binary language is made up of what binary digits or bits these binary digits comprise of two digit that is 0 and 1 0 means false 0 means what false and 1 means true kids what we input in the computer we input in the human language which is converted by the computer in its own machine language but the result or output given by the computer is in again human language so i am repeating again the processing of computer is done by its own language that is binary language and the input and output is in our language that is human language now kids come to the next topic that is memory unit the basic unit of measurement of data storage is bit that is bit bit or binary digit the storage capacity is expressed in the terms of byte b y t e byte and this is the chart of various memory units it is very very and important for you you need to write it down into your, your class copy and learn it okay so let's get started bit abbreviation is b storage is binary digit 1 or 0 nibble abbreviation is nothing storage is 4 bits 4 bits equals to 1 nibble now byte 8 bits equals to 1 byte now next is kilobyte abbreviation is kb 1024 bytes equals to 1 kb now megabyte abbreviation is mb 1024 kb is equals to 1 megabyte now next is gigabyte abbreviation is gb 1024 megabyte equals to 1 gigabyte next is terabyte abbreviation is tb 1024 gigabyte equals to 1 terabyte next is petabyte abbreviation is pb storage unit is 1024 tb equals to 1 petabyte now next is exabyte 1024 petabyte equals to 1 exabyte abbreviation is eb zettabyte zettabyte abbreviation is zb 1024 eb equals to 1 zettabyte last one is yottabyte abbreviation is yb storage unit is 1024 zettabyte equals to 1 yottabyte okay now kids let's let's recapitulate what we read in today's class first we have started with the small definition of a computer then we discuss data information and what's their difference between now next that we read is data storage and after that we read memory units note it down the memory unit chart onto your copy and show me till then bye bye and take care